While many companies in the space industry are still grappling with the setbacks left in the wake of the pandemic, SpaceX has not just recovered, but soared to new heights. The company has been ticking off one remarkable achievement after another. And most recently, it has announced a milestone that has set the space community abuzz with excitement. Before we delve into the details of this groundbreaking development, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned to our channel for the latest updates on SpaceX's Starship and to keep up with other significant milestones that are shaping the future of space exploration. Today, like many others at SpaceX's Boca Chica facility, begins with the planned closure of State Highway 4. This closure is a regular part of the schedule and indicates that a new day of intensive testing for the Starship program is about to begin. The public, already notified through various channels, adjusts their routines to accommodate the roadblock. This isn't merely a precaution, it's an integral part of SpaceX's safety protocols, ensuring that the testing poses no risk to the local community. Once the testing window concludes in Boca Chica, State Highway 4 reopens. Engineers arrive at the site early, all set to perform a static fire test where they ignite the Starship's engines without taking off to ensure everything is working correctly. Teams are stationed at control centers monitoring each aspect of the test. Their objective is clear, to oversee the engine's ignition and ensure all systems perform as expected. Concurrently, SpaceX staff members are diligently working to comply with environmental regulations. These regulations are strictly enforced by the FAA, and SpaceX must demonstrate compliance to maintain their launch licenses. The FAA has finished the safety review for SpaceX's launch license, which is a significant step forward. Now SpaceX and the rest of the space community are just waiting for the environmental go-ahead from the Fish and Wildlife Service. Every aspect of the operation, from the hardware being tested to the timing and nature of the tests, is under constant review to minimize any impact on the local habitat. This is the last checkpoint before SpaceX can lock in a launch date. As the day progresses, focus shifts to SpaceX's plans beyond Texas. They're expanding their launch operations to the historic pads in Florida, like Launch Complex 39A and Space Launch Complex 40. These sites, which have seen launches from the Apollo missions to the shuttle era, are being updated for future SpaceX missions. At the same time, the Boca Chica site, referred to as Starbase, is undergoing significant infrastructure development to manage the expected increase in Starship launch activities. Additionally, Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center, which has been pivotal for past NASA missions, is being modified to facilitate upcoming Starship launches. As Starship refines its operations, its role in NASA's Artemis program becomes increasingly critical. Artemis, which aims to return humans to the moon, relies on the capabilities of Starship to transport cargo and eventually astronauts to the lunar surface. The success of Starship could thus become a cornerstone of humanity's lunar exploratory efforts, setting the stage for a sustained human presence on the moon and serving as a stepping stone for the even more ambitious Mars missions. This year, SpaceX already has launched 79 rockets, an unprecedented number that far surpassed their own previous records, with the count still rising. This total included 74 Falcon 9 rockets, their reliable workhorse, four Falcon Heavy launches, each carrying significant payloads, and one launch of the mighty Starship. This year's launch frequency builds upon a record-breaking performance in 2022. Last year, the Falcon 9 rocket set a new standard by successfully completing 60 launches within a calendar year. This achievement was momentous for several reasons, not least of which was the fact that it shattered a long-standing record that had been in place for over four decades. The previous record was held by the Soyuz rocket, which conducted 47 launches, 45 of which were successful back in 1979. SpaceX didn't just break the record, they significantly surpassed it marking yet another milestone in their growing list of achievements. And recently, when it seemed SpaceX had reached its peak, they raised the bar even higher by breaking their own record. Recently, one particular Falcon 9 booster known as B-1058 has soared beyond the boundaries of previous records to become the most reused booster in the history of space exploration. 
This remarkable piece of engineering has not just been launched and recovered once or twice, but has achieved this feat a record-setting 18 times. Historically, the Space Shuttle's solid rocket boosters were retrieved and reused multiple times. However, they pale in comparison to this Falcon 9 booster. In an unexpected move, SpaceX also constructed of an additional launch tower dedicated to the Dragon capsule. The development of this second launch tower at SpaceX's facilities is a strategic expansion to accommodate the increasing demand for access to the International Space Station and other orbital destinations. While reaching orbit remains an arduous challenge for many, SpaceX has streamlined the process to a near daily routine, a staggering achievement that underscores the rapid advancements in space travel. Construction of the new tower, after close to a year in the making, is approaching its final stages. The installation of the crew access arm, a crucial element that will bridge astronauts from Earth to the Dragon spacecraft, was a visual milestone, complementing the emergency egress system designed to evacuate personnel if necessary. The urgency with which SpaceX is advancing the tower's completion hints at the near-term objective. The next crewed Dragon mission penciled in for the beginning of the year. This tight timeline propels SpaceX into a race against the clock to ensure readiness for this imminent deadline. The question arises, why the need for a new tower when SpaceX already has one functional structure? Well, currently, SpaceX's missions to the International Space Station are launched from the Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. However, with the increasing frequency of launches, this singular pad could soon become a bottleneck. Additionally, SpaceX is making headway with its Starship program in Florida, where a Mechazilla tower has been erected. But above all, the space industry has taken notice of Starship's capabilities. Its potential has sparked a new wave of collaborations and contracts, with various companies and nations eager to utilize its services. Its reusable design promises to reduce the cost of space travel significantly, potentially allowing for more regular and affordable missions. The implications of such a development are manifold, ranging from more robust scientific missions and the opening up of new commercial opportunities, ranging from space tourism to asteroid mining. From satellite deployments to deep space missions, Starship is poised to be a workhorse that could drive the space economy forward. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.